everybody, I hope y'all doing good tonight. Uh, I just want to bring y'all out here to bring light on the little foundation we started uh, in memory of Nolan Fields. Uh, about seven years ago to this day, uh, Nolan found out the news that he was diagnosed with non Hodgkin's lymphoma. And uh, when he missed the Trinity game, he was standing on the sidelines and sweat while we were out here in Paz competing against uh, Marshall, who went to Trinity, and Pete Wells, who went to St. James. So we'll get off to Marshall to uh, tell you a little bit more about Nolan. Hey, guys. Uh, so on the uh, this this year will be the fifth year of uh, Nolan Nolan passing, and so we decided to go ahead and get a memorial fund scholarship set up in his name, so that we can carry on his legacy and continue to act for him. Um, we uh, we got it. So we, uh, we got a fundraiser with a, a sporting play shootout at Lower Sunker Range this past, uh, past spring. And our goal was to raise $20,000 for a scholarship uh, for somebody who's undergone cancer at a young age who had a passion for helping others, just how no one, no one did. Uh, so Ms. Fields, his mom's a English teacher here at St. James for 11 years. Uh, got us in, in contact with Noel's doctor, Dr. Anna Xavier, that's here with us to my right. Uh, and she helped us find the perfect candidate. Uh, introduced us to a young man named Alex Cook. Uh, he was diagnosed by a student at UAB uh, in Wikimedia. Uh, under, underwent a two month medically induced coma. Uh, radiation was cancer free and enrolled at UAB again. Changed his major to education in order to be able to touch as many lives as possible. Uh, he's still actively raising money and raising awareness for children's cancer. Uh, so just couldn't have found a better person. And ladies and gentlemen, would y'all give a warm welcome to the first recipient of the Nolan Fields Memorial Scholarship, Mr. Alex Cook.